Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold, the Second Swing Golf, joined today by Luke Benoit at, here at the Minnetonka Tour Van, and Luke is the founder of Ripstick, and today we wanted to get the background of Ripstick, um, why it can help golfers, and how it works. And so, uh, Luke, thanks for joining today, first of all. And uh, first of all, you know, we see this push in speed uh, for, for golfers nowadays, and I need more ball speed, I need more distance. And so, with that, you have to find a way to get it without just, we, we, we know drivers are built well these days, but it's not, a new driver is not just gonna give you that more speed. So right. um, that's why Ripstick is here. So talk to me about how it works and how you, you know, why you really even created it in the first place. Yeah, so I, I'm a teacher by trade, um, been teaching a long time. And about seven years ago, I started thinking about um, how can I help my players, especially in the winter. We live in Minnesota, as you yeah. know. So um, winter time is a lot of strength and speed. And we have this great opportunity over four or five months to build speed. And what I realized is you can trade uh, speed year round. And for the junior golfers that I started training speed on, it made huge differences in their scores. And as everybody knows if you have shorter clubs in the greens, you make more birdie. So the question is, how do you gain more speed? Well, you get stronger, that helps. And then the second thing is you speed train and improve your sequence. So there's another product out there and I think it's a great product. Super Speed uh, is the, our main competitor. And I was teaching a lot of kids that had these sticks and they were great, right? You carry around three sticks, grain speed and i looked at that product and said well how could i improve on that well i would just want one stick i don't mm -hmm. want to carry around three sticks in the bag right so that's the main idea behind um, our rib stick mm -hmm. and so you can take the weights out really quickly really easy to change the weights we have a little counterweight to make, give it a little more balance as well um, and the whole idea is to do what we call over speed training which is taking uh, the rib stick and making it light so you can swing it really fast or you can make it heavier and that gives you more uh, kind of like a strength modality to it. So when you train both sides of it, you had, have huge benefits from like, you know, basically your brain is adapting to go faster when it's light and when it's heavier, it improves your sequence because it actually slows your, your upper body down and you separate better on the downswing. So we see right-handed, left-handed, um, huge gains when you start to get a speed training uh, program going. Nice, and you, yeah. so with that, that rip stick, you can, I mean, it works for any golfer, right? And you yeah. mentioned right hand, left handed, yeah. it works ambidextrously too. Yeah. Uh, but anybody that might be a beginner might yeah. have, you know, maybe they're swinging the driver 70 miles an hour. Maybe right. they're dri swinging the driver 150 or maybe they're a world long drive champion. I mean, right. I mean, they could, anyone can benefit Every from it. Everyone, I mean, we literally have a guarantee. If you do the work for three months and you don't pick up 20 yards, we'll give you your money back. I mean, that's, okay? that's as good as it gets, And we've right? sold <laughs> many, several thousands of them. Yeah. And so far we've had, only a couple people where they actually said, hey, I did all the training and I didn't gain speed. And usually those people had an unbelievable sequence to begin with. Mm -hmm. Sequence meaning they, they were using the ground, rotating well, and they were very high level players. But for the average person off the street, 20 is conservative. You can definitely gain more than that. And even for, for competitive players, I'm pretty confident saying 20 on average. Sure, yeah. sure. So what would the typical, I guess, training you know, protocol or, or, you know, practice look like for someone trying to gain some speed, like you mentioned, maybe they are in Minnesota and, right. and um, they have four or five months of golf, of no golf. And yeah. so they're going to try to build that speed. What would that look like? For yeah. Them? So uh, buy the ripstick, then download the app. The app will tell you mm -hmm. exactly what to do. And it's got some custom plans for it as well. So it'll tell you, um, okay, if you want to fix your swing and work on your slice, you can do that while you gain speed. And a lot of people come to me and say, well, should I fix my swing first or should I do speed? Do them both at the same time. So if I teach you how to swing inside out and bow your wrist and swing hard, it's actually gonna hold up better under pressure than just doing swing and then speed. Because you know, Drew, like you wanna feel like you can be, take an aggressive swing on the golf course. Oh, yeah. Trying to guide it does not work that well for yeah. most people. And so you wanna build a sequence that's powerful and has some control. So speed and mechanics together would be my pitch to you. Um, and so that's typically the plan. Now, for a lot of people, it's three days a week, 15 to 20 minutes, and you're gonna have amazing speed gains generally. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it looks like a fantastic uh, you know, product for one, but also to kind of build all three of the different weights in there into yeah. one stick, right? Exactly. With the rip stick. And, um, and it, you literally have four combinations because you have three weights, and then this counterweight's yeah, really true. nice to actually make it a little bit, uh, a little bit heavier because if you, if you go really heavy, on this end without a counterbalance, it can really whip. So this just kind of balances out a sure. little bit. Yeah, I mean, you, you've kind of thought of everything there. And, and then again, the cool part is really any golfer watching this is going to benefit from the ripstick. So um, without anything else, really, I mean, we can just tell people, hey, you can get that ripstick either at secondswing.com. There's going to be some in secondswing stores as well. Um, and of course, 
keep us uh, posted on your progress as well. We'd love to see golfers maybe grab one from second swing and start their training protocol as we get closer here to winter and then uh, we see those speed gains. So yeah. um, Luke, thanks for joining, giving us the breakdown on the ripstick. Uh, I know we've already seen people uh, get the gains on it and of course we're gonna see a lot more here moving forward. So I awesome. uh, appreciate it. Yeah, thanks Drew, appreciate it.